Hey folks, so I have what I think is going to be a pretty quick little shop project. Um, I have a piece of poplar here, and I have another piece that's just like I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a slick plane to round over these edges. And what we're making is going to be a fairly quick project. It's going to hold the paper towels at the edge of the workbench. So it's not actually paper towels, I'm sorry, it's um, just paper. So that when we use the paper, we can... Um, just pull it up like they would do at a doctor's office for your sanitary paper, whatever. I don't know what they call that. All right, so stick around. We'll take it up. All right, so that's the idea. Uh, over under, I'll let you debate that in the comments. It's uh, you know it's kind of like a toilet paper issue. Okay, so the plan is gonna be two by fours. I might trim them down just a little bit, but we're gonna basically stick them like this. I might ought to run them over the the joiner first, but we'll go ahead and stick them there and screw through, and that'll give us the width we need to attach these bad boys. And then we're gonna go ahead and trim off the excess uh, once I figure out where the hole's going for the dowel rod. I think I'll just throw it into a time lapse and show you when it's all ready to go. So hang on for the ride, all right? I'm not really kicking up too much uh, dust or anything like that. This uh, slick plane is pretty cool. It gives you two um, chisel things. One set a little bit lower than the other. You do the one, you do the other. Uh, right after the, ne the next and uh, it's pretty neat gets you a nice little chamfer this one is actually got a radius on it not actually like a, a full-blown chamfer chamfer but we got some some fumes right now so I'm just keeping the mask on because it stinks in here so we'll head on to the other side of the workbench and see uh, what we can do to get it ready okay so <clears throat> Where we're at, I've got this mocked up pretty good. Uh, I just have them clamped here. I'm just going to use screws. I'm going to drill in. I want to try to drill in from this side here and go into the block. Uh, that way it'll be removable. And once I get them situated, I'll hold these up there, figure out where we're going to drill the hole, probably closer to the top. Um, you know, leaving only like a half or quarter inch, probably half inch. I'll put the dowel. And on the other side, I'm playing with the idea of either not drilling all the way through or I'll drill all the way through, but I'll put like a pin on both ends. I think I'll do the pin on both ends. We'll see how that works out. I think that's what I have in my house, which I didn't make the one in my house, but uh, yeah, it works. So yeah, uh, and then this I will, I'll probably just glue it. I, I guess I could sand it and then glue it. Or excuse me, I'll probably screw it. I Screw it. Uh... And then, yeah, uh, get this thing trimmed off. We're going to do like a nice little radius. We'll get it over on the belt sander. And we should be able to have our paper ready to recover because this stuff here, I pretty well messed up with the uh, Samurai Sword Stand uh, glue up. Yeah. No, wait. No, I glued up. I glued that up on the router table paper, which was this paper. This paper's working out okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Probably a little too much talky talky. Need a little more worky worky. Do a little more work. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just nervous about drilling into this. Uh, but um, I guess nothing to it but to do it. Uh, so I better find a bit and some screws. When I was drilling, I felt this weird uh, feeling, and I noticed when I popped off the um, clamps, and, and, and I did, not sure if you guys saw that, but I went ahead and marked it uh, right in there so that I could see how to line it back up just to make sure to you know, play it safe. Um, and I, I, I got corrected. We are going to be gluing the other piece. But um, I ended up with some tear out, and it's kind of sticking proud. So a couple of options here. I'm just going to hit it with a block plane real quick. So that pretty much takes care of that sort of thing. And I just noticed I'm wearing my really nice jeans today. I don't have very many nice, nice jeans left, but check these bad boys out. I mean, they're like dark blue and pretty. 
I wore them to church today, and let me tell you, I was looking slick. So I'm going to have to be really careful, and I may even have to go home and change. I'm not really sure yet. If there's anybody out there from the Elville area, I am currently the Phantom Pilot. Shh, don't tell anybody. <sighs> so I got a couple quick thoughts here I just want to throw out there. One, it's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Two, nails are always stronger in a vertical position, and screws are always stronger in a horizontal position. Three, I did countersink, and I made a relief hole. This part here has a wider hole than this part here. This part is just the shaft. This part is the shaft and the threads. Once I got to the point where I was just poking through on that hole with the Forstner bit, I stopped, I flipped it over, and I found the center, and that way I had no tear out. Awesome. Make sure everything still lines up before I go ahead and glue it. All right, folks. Oh, we're almost there. Just about there. So. We're through, we're mounted, everything is okay, it's glued, it's screwed. I'm just going to take, and uh, instead of putting a pin on this side so it sticks out a little further, I'm just going to take this washer, a little bit bigger than the hole, and I have another little washer and a little tiny screw, and I'm just going to screw it in there. So, I'll just go ahead and slide this bad boy here. I think it's going to work. So, that's going to keep it from doing uh, pulling out. Let me show you what I got. Boom. There it is. The other side, I'm going to cut it off. And i got to make a pin for it. So I got this little guy right here. And uh, it's, got a, it's got a washer. It's got, you know, it's, it's fine. It's going to work. I'm just going to stick it right there. And it's actually going to go through the top into the, the wood so that this I can cut off flush when I'm done. And for whatever reason, these bits keep on um, gumming up. They're not clearing themselves, so you got to pop them out. Otherwise, you overheat and break your bit. You get that in there. Be overheating, and it's already hot and actually kind of burns. You pop this out, and here's our full size hole. Double check. A little bit oversized, but small enough for the washer. And I'm just going to dress it up a little bit here with a countersink. Perfect. All right. Boom. Done. Nice little uh, off cut. Throw it in the scrap bin. Start cleaning up some of these tools. Hey. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, you know, sand this over with the, the sander right there. There it is. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, not this one. This one right there. I'll go ahead and take a few pictures, leave them up at the end. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, probably going to have quite a few of these shop type builds uh, here and at my shop. And, uh, you know, now we can have some nice clean uh, glue up paper stuff. All right, uh, thanks, and we'll see you next time. Hope everybody's having a great year, and um, if you're upset that the mustache is gone, don't worry. It'll, it'll be back. It'll be back.